Hey, Mitch, can you just take us through the last two minutes of that game, three touchdowns between both teams and then overtime? Um, yeah, I think when, when we, you know, when the teams had to execute, two very good football teams executed. Um, you know, I feel like it was one of those things that if it felt like whoever had the ball last was going to win the game. And, uh, you know, we just ended up on the wrong side of maybe one of the greatest games in postseason history. So um, we're devastated in that locker room. Um, very proud of our guys. But that last two minutes of football was something special. You can't write it in movies. It was uh, it's remarkable. It was, I was honored to be a part of it. Um, yeah, Mitch, if you could, uh, you mentioned it's a heartbroken locker room right now, the way that that played out. I mean, it was boom, 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 very fast. Is, can you put it into perspective right away here? What, what you guys lost in that moment? Well, what we lost in that moment was an opportunity to, um, you know, not only continue our season, but continue our season at home. Um, you know, turnover in this league and in this game is, uh, it's part of the business. So that was the last time that this team and this group of guys was out competing with each other. Um, so we absolutely know what we lost, and that's why um, this locker room is hurt. Obviously, you, you're you not going to throw anybody on the bus. It's a team game. But how hard is the defense taking this after a game like this where they, they struggle so much? Defense should be proud. Um, you know, we love those guys. So I'm not here to set point anything, like you said. Um, you know, uh, to be honest, I find that a little bit, you know, you can't put this on one person, you know, or one unit. So for us, we could have put more points on the board, you know, that we had, you know, we only had forced, <laughs> we had three and out to open up the third quarter after they ran the ball, you know, ran the clock. Um, you know, we only had four plays in the third quarter, I believe. So um, maybe we had that opportunity to give our defense a break have been a different game. So uh, like you said, you know, it's we're not in the nature of name or finger pointing unless it's intrinsically. Thanks, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Um, look, obviously, you've got a great quarterback in your locker room, but you also played with the guy that won the game tonight. And <clears throat> how, how tough is it to realize that this guy is going to be standing in your way for for a long time and you've got to get past him and now you're 0 2 in the postseason against him. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's a great football player. You know, from top to bottom, that organization's run well. Um, we felt like we had the pieces to compete, and um, you know, for us, it's just about executing. So, um, yeah, he's a great player, and don't see him going anywhere anytime soon. So, um, you know, we we look forward to the next opportunity. Have you ever been involved in a game where a team had 13 seconds to move whatever it was yards to get a field goal? I mean, that seemed almost impossible, yet he did it. Uh, yeah, I think um, when we lost in 2018 or maybe even 2019 to the uh, to the uh, New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game, we had to, in Kansas City, we you know, it was a similar situation. We had to go down and put it in overtime. I think we did. Um, you just know when that quarterback and that offense uh, is at the helm, you can't, uh, you know, the game's not over. So uh, they executed and uh, that's why they're continuing and we're not. Okay. Thanks, Mitch. You're welcome. Mitch, Pat Freeman from the beat uh, 105.5. Uh, just building on what Sal said, I know you've played uh, with both of those quarterbacks uh, have you ever been part of a game, especially uh, with the emergence of Josh Allen? Um, how great was he uh, from your vantage point today? Josh is a remarkable competitor. Um, he willed us on a few of those fourth downs and extending those drives to even put us in the position. So we're not a, we're not the same team without Josh Allen. Uh, it's not even close. Uh, just a, just I mean, I wish you guys could have been in that. That fourth down, I think it was the first fourth down uh, conversion to, to in that, you know, minute and some change. Uh, it was just a, a lot of love. Guys saying they loved each other. Let's execute. Let's do this for each other. It was, it was Josh at the helm. So, um, 
you know, it's a really tight knit group, a lot of love. And, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing is we're not going to take the field as a unit, the same unit. And, uh, I think that's, what's most heartbreaking. All right. Thanks for the question. Great game, uh, Mitch. I, I realize it's disappointing, but one of the best games I've seen. Absolutely. I appreciate you.